Hey Flight Sim fans, Richard here with Wing It Flight Sim. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to set up multiple monitors in X-Plane so you can take your Flight Sim experience to the next level and go from this to this. And it's coming up right after the intro. All right, we are back and let's go ahead and get started and show you how to quickly and easily set up multiple monitors for X-Plane. Get my handy dandy glasses on because without them, yeah, not gonna work. Um, okay, first thing you wanna do is go up into the X-Plane settings and you'll get this screen and it shows all of my monitors. So I've got monitor two, which is the right-handed screen, monitor one, which is the left-handed screen, monitor three, which is the top monitor and the main monitor. That's how it's listed in X-Plane. So the main monitor right now is set up for a full screen monitor, uh, full screen simulator, and the lateral field of view. So a couple of things you need to consider is your lateral field of view. So with your single monitor, um, X-Plane has it, I think, defaults to 70 degrees. I may have set it up to 70 degrees, but you can set it up however you want. 70 degrees field of view for each monitor, 60 degrees, whatever looks best on your resolution, on your screen size. For my screen resolution and size, 70 degree field of view works best for me. Um, and so, with that, you're gonna have three monitors at 70 degrees, which is a total field of view of 210 degrees. So that's the first thing you need to consider is your total field of view. So again, for me, uh, 210 degree field of view works best for my setup. So the next thing you need to consider is your lateral rotation offset. So for this center screen main monitor, it's gonna be set to zero degrees, okay? Um, and then let's go ahead and do monitor one. So right now it's unused. We're gonna go into full screen simulator. And as you see, it's set up the same way as the main monitor, 70 degree field of view, which is what we want but it's also the lateral rotation offset is zero. We don't want that. We want, we want the same 70 degree field of view, but we want the lateral rotation to be minus 70. And then because of the, uh, yeah, because of the bezel, because of the uh, screen bezel there, you're gonna wanna offset it by one or two degrees. So I usually do two degrees. So we're gonna set it at minus 72 degrees to compensate for the bezel. And as you can see, this one now looks really nice. You've got the uh, windscreen post right here and it matches up really perfectly. And then let's go to monitor two, unused. We're gonna do full screen simulator. And again, 70 degree field of view and the lateral rotation offset is gonna be plus 70, and we're gonna add a couple of degrees to compensate for the bezel. And there's that, and now everything matches up really nicely. And then for the final monitor, we are gonna set that up. I set it up for the instructor operating station, and for some reason I have to do that, and then go back and there's the instructor operating station. And there you have it. Now there's some other things you can play with too on these. You can play with the vertical rotation offset. Um, and I'll just show you quickly what that does. So if we set this to minus two degrees, let's do three degrees. That's gonna raise it up. 
So it raises it up a little bit. So if you need to offset things vertically, you can do that too. Um, so there's lots of things you can play with. Let's put this back to zero. But for the most part, this, this is going to work for most people. Just getting your uh, lateral rotation effect and your total field of view. Close this out and that is that. And it really does. It goes from one screen, 70 degrees field of view. Um, you can set one screen to whatever field of view you want, 180 or, um, but it's still, it's, it's going to be much smaller. And this is, this is a whole new experience. When I first did this, it was like, wow. Um, so I don't think I could ever go back to one screen now. This will take your flight sim experience to a whole new level with uh, multiple monitors, multiple screens. Uh, it's just so much more of an immersive experience for X-Plane. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this X-Plane tutorial video. I'm Richard. This is Wing It Flight Sim. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and smash the bell so you don't miss a Wing It Flight Sim video. Until the next one, we'll catch you on the flip side. We are out.